What's up you guys, this is Junior Creator and in this video we are taking a look at Micron Technologies. So guys they had their earnings yesterday and you can see this thing has gapped up quite massively and for good reasons their earnings were a beat. However, there's a difference between if earnings were a beat and where the price should be. But hey, you know semiconductors have been running off of the um, the sentiment that AI stocks, right? Semiconductors, that's all what has been running up on. And I'm pretty sure this MU Micron technology, in other words, has also given that pump to other semiconductors as well today, especially Broadcom is quite high up. So um, yeah, let's let's talk about it. It's about 16, uh, it's 16% plus today. And let's see what type of you know price action are we dealing with here, how to trade it and what to do here. Because most of you have been asking me, junior trader, is it time to short here? Look at this gap up, shall we short here? And guys, I wanna tell you before I even go further that it's very common to for traders to say, to see that, oh, it gapped up, it's all at, at all time highs, look at this huge gap here, it's, it, should, it should be shorted, right? Well, not quite soon this, guys, no. Usually, this is where the mistakes happens by the short sellers because these things don't just fall off the cliff. There are cases that it does, uh, most of the, well, sometimes there are cases that this happens, but this, that happens usually 1% of the time. 90% of the time, these things just don't usually crash like that. So um, let's talk about it. But again, anything can happen in stock market. So you have to be prepared accordingly. And you, the play that you have to build, I'll give you the levels, but you know how you have to build the play, the shares and all of that size in, size out. It's up to you where you have to have your stop loss. That's your risk management because I take guarantee of nothing. I'm only providing my opinion. That's all. I'm, I'm not here to tell you what you have to do. You are solely responsible for your own financial decisions and outcomes. Now, so, okay, let's talk about it. So what we have here on the earnings side, well, they beat on the surprise across the board. So they even reported profitable earnings, um, 0.673. And then we have, even on revenue side, a high good surprise, right? Um, but the thing is that, let's go in the past back over here when it was already at $97. And how were their earnings back then? They were still profitable earnings, right? Um, they reported 2.16 and they had a revenue of 7.6. Now, let's compare it here. Um, they have less of earnings here, technically, than pr prior price action, which was at $97. And their revenue is lower as well, because back then it was at what? Um, 7 point some billion, and the earnings were, here we go, were 2.16. So at on all fronts, they haven't really technically beaten as for the price, right? That's bad compared to back even in Jan of 2022. So guys, th that's why, you know, we have to do the technicals because you can see it's not solely, is this price justified? Well, I just showed you the earnings comparison. Price shouldn't be justified. Price should be lower, right? Uh, when it was 97 back then. So where's this difference at Delta, right? So guys, that tells you that their stock market doesn't work based off of fundamentals all the time. That's why we do technical analysis. That's why we do technical trading. Uh, even though they're, you know, analysts keeping it at overweight, a price target raised to $130 for sure, because this thing is going up. Why not? They will just keep pumping, right? So, um, but uh, hey, okay, let's do the technicals, guys. So first thing, regardless of if earnings are not matching, or oh, junior trader, you just showed us that earnings are bad than even before and price is higher than before. It should go lower, we should short. Well, guys, again, the same thing. F these things don't matter. Well, to some degree, these matters like earnings to bottom line, but um, as if technicals, you have to always give the preference to the technicals. And yeah, the, so let's talk about technicals. Don't just um, cherry pick one or the other thing because most of those things don't matter, right? Um, we, we have to see the, how the technicals have worked out. So we gapped up, okay, we gapped up. That's the bottom line here. And let's see what are the technicals we are dealing with here now. So let me go to the hourly interval. This trend line doesn't matter. This play is long time ago over. So let's get rid of that. Now, guys, here's the thing. Yesterday, it's like, oh, junior trader is not making higher highs. This is the time to short it. 
Well, guys, here's the thing. We have a huge gap up and a confirmed support in the pre-market today. And that is at the level of pretty much the yesterday's pivot, so $108. If it breaks $108, yes, this, is, this can be played to the downside also with the break of 20 hours moving average. But if this is not breaking below $108, guys, it's either going to stay choppy or going to find $108 support or it's going to continue higher. Now, this is a purely a technical trade. It's not a short play. I'm repeating myself, just so you know. If it's holding above $108, it's not a short play. I'm seeing some slowdown here, but just after the earnings day, that's not a conclusive uh, approach to trade. You have to watch the levels. Let me take you to the five minutes interval. So as long as uh, this thing is, as I said, again, $108, I'm emphasizing this hard enough, it's still a long play. It's either going to just stay choppy here or continue to slowly and slowly trickle up. So, and yeah, as I said, below that, you can intraday look for short, at least for now. But okay, another level you are watching is that 111 and 20 cents. If this thing continues to hold above this today and stays above it, this most likely give you going to give you an intraday long play. And guys, any breakout above 113 and 49 cents, this level, is also a long play on this breakout play. So yes, this is what it is right now. It is not complicated. Um, this thing, as I say, is just an intraday plays right now based off of these levels. Um, if it closes, as I said, above 11, 111 and 20 cents, there's more likelihood that it's gonna go up. If it breaks below it tomorrow, then Sure, there's a, some intraday play that could come to 108, but you want to see this moving average break first. I would highly advise against short play, in my opinion. Um, this is more of a choppy play for a couple of days. Pullbacks on this are going to be bought. It's not going to be a strong breakout also unless it breaks up of 113 and 49 cents. Okay, so I am leaning. It's going to be 65% choppy. And... Uh, 25% here maybe upside play and 10% a short play. That's where my inclination with this thing is, okay? Um, so guys, yeah, this is this is still technically uh, all in all on the swing as well bullish, but you want to wait for the pullbacks at those important levels that I just talked about to even play this play now, okay? Um, so that's that. Simple, easy peasy, guys. Um, here we have, um, well, there's not much news on Micron. Uh, it's just a reaction to their, um, you know, earnings. So Micron Technologies are maintained at buy by Bank of America Securities. They raised their price target to $120 from $100. Yeah, why not? They will do it now. So because the price is above that. So anyways, guys, that's your Micron Technology. I did a video on NVIDIA in the morning already, but let's see what's this been doing so far. Yep, so far it's not, well, yeah, it's right now been an intraday long play today. I, the way I talked about over the weekend, sorry, not weekend, oh, yesterday as well, we got those pullbacks above this trend line. It's not a short play, guys, unless and until it's not breaking below this trend line. You can see pullbacks are being bought up. Right now, 20 hours moving average is giving it a support as well. If this breaks, there is possibility of downside. I'll talk about it in the afternoon later video as well, once the market has closed as well. AMD is uh, chopping around, um, around the trend line. It's weak enough right now. It's um, I'll talk about it in another video. It has a room to continue to fall, but I'll talk about it in another video. Let's take a look at ARM as well. And yep, so ARM, I took the 50% profit on this already for the remaining 50% that was at my levels and remaining 50% position hasn't really gone in my you know stop loss zone. I would be keen to see if this breaks again below and I'm going to keep holding my 50% position. Otherwise, I'll see by the end of the day if I should size out at least a little bit more so that I still make net profit right on this. Um, Broadcom. I, well, it just went up today, right? Testing again the all-time highs and it hit my stop loss on my position that I had. I already talked to you about it. So let's see how this candle closes today. If it's going to be a double top on this or this thing is going to go lower, but let's see what happens. 
Um, and essentially, I already updated you in the morning as well. I completed my short play on this fully out, 100% profitable position. That's awesome. This thing has really worked out really awesome for me over the course of so many trades I have taken on this. Um, okay, guys, that's all for this video. Um, if you found it helpful, valuable, hit the like, subscribe. This is QQQ. Let's see if it helps fills that gap. I'll talk about it in other videos, more details. Spy, guys, I think it's going to roll over. But again, you know, work with the price section and in detail, I'll talk about it in my other videos, but look at the gap up today. All right, guys, that's all. I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.